Disclaimer. This video contains intense and frightening content meant for entertainment purposes. It may include scenes that some viewers may find disturbing or unsettling. We recommend viewer discretion, especially for those sensitive to horror themes or with underlying medical conditions that could be affected by intense content. The events portrayed in this video are entirely fictional, and any resemblance to real-life situations or individuals is coincidental. We do not endorse harmful or illegal activities. By continuing to watch, you acknowledge the content warning and proceed at your own discretion. Story 1. Into the Abyss I had always been a curious person, never one to shy away from exploring the uncharted corners of the internet. So, when I first heard about the dark web, it piqued my interest like nothing else. The idea of a hidden underbelly of the internet, a place where the usual rules didn't apply, was both terrifying and tantalizing. Little did I know that my curiosity would lead me down a path from which there would be no return. It all started one gloomy evening when I found myself alone in my dimly lit room, bathed in the eerie glow of my computer screen. I had spent countless hours researching the dark web, trying to decipher its mysteries. With every click and every search, I felt like I was inching closer to something I shouldn't be a part of. As I delved deeper, I came across forums and chat rooms where users spoke in hushed tones about the secrets they had uncovered. They warned of the dangers that lurked in the shadows, but their warnings only fueled my curiosity. I wanted to see for myself what the dark web held. One night I decided to take the plunge. With trembling hands, I downloaded a special browser known for accessing the dark web. It was like stepping through a portal into a different world, a world that felt cold and foreboding. My heart raced as I navigated through the strange and unsettling sights that I stumbled upon. The first few hours were filled with mundane and disturbing content, illegal marketplaces, bizarre forums, and cryptic discussions. I was about to call it quits when I stumbled upon a website with a simple title, The Abyss. It was a plain black page with a single text box in the center, inviting users to type in their deepest fears. Curiosity got the better of me, and I typed in the first thing that came to my mind. Fear of the unknown. Before I could blink, the page responded with a chilling message. Welcome seeker of the unknown, prepare to face your darkest fears. A shiver ran down my spine as I watched the screen change. It displayed a live video feed of a dimly lit room. In the center was a chair, and a figure wearing a mask sat upon it, their identity shrouded in darkness. I felt a sinking feeling in my stomach as I realized that the figure seemed to be watching me. A low, distorted voice emanated from the speakers, sending shivers down my spine. You wished to confront your fear of the unknown, didn't you? It asked. I couldn't find my voice to respond, but my trembling hands continued to type responses on the screen. As the conversation unfolded, the figure seemed to know things about me that I had never shared online. Personal details, secrets and memories were revealed one by one. Panic set in as I realized that this wasn't just some random encounter on the dark web. It was as if this entity had tapped into the darkest recesses of my mind. The figure continued to taunt and torment me dredging up fears and anxieties I had long buried. It was as if it had access to my very soul. I desperately tried to disconnect from the site, but the browser was unresponsive. It was as if I was trapped in a nightmare with no way out. Hours turned into an eternity as the figure continued its psychological assault. I was on the brink of madness, my mind unraveling as I confronted my deepest fears in real time. Just when I thought I couldn't take it any longer, the screen went black and the figure's voice whispered, the abyss has seen enough. I found myself back in the familiar glow of my room, drenched in cold sweat with a deep sense of dread and emptiness. The experience had left me scarred, haunted by the knowledge that there were forces on the dark web that could reach into the very depths of my psyche. I shut down my computer, vowing never to return to that dark and terrifying place. 
The dark web had shown me a glimpse of the abyss, and it was a nightmare I would carry with me for the rest of my days. Curiosity had led me to the edge of insanity, and I had narrowly escaped the abyss that lurked in the darkest corners of the internet. Story 2. The Dark Web Delivery I was an average guy, leading a mundane life, until my curiosity led me down a path that would haunt my nightmares for the rest of my days. It all began on a cold, rainy night, when I found myself alone in my dimly lit apartment, the glow of my computer screen casting an eerie ambiance. I had always been fascinated by the dark web, the enigmatic underbelly of the internet that seemed to hold secrets beyond imagination. Stories of forbidden knowledge, illicit dealings, and shadowy figures intrigued me, and I wanted to see it for myself. After weeks of research and preparation, I had finally taken the plunge. Armed with a specialized browser and the anonymity it promised, I ventured into the depths of the dark web. At first, it was nothing more than a digital labyrinth, a maze of illicit marketplaces and disturbing forums. My heart raced as I clicked on one site after another, exploring the forbidden, like a modern-day explorer charting unknown territories. Hours passed, and I was about to log off, disappointed by the lack of anything truly extraordinary when I stumbled upon a website that seemed different. It had no flashy graphics or enticing offers. Instead, a single line of text caught my attention. The Dark Delivery Service. We fulfill your darkest desires. The site appeared outdated, as if untouched by time. It bore an air of malevolence that sent a shiver down my spine. But my curiosity wouldn't let me turn away. The page had a single button that read, Submit a Request. Against my better judgment, I clicked it. A text box appeared, and I hesitantly typed, I want something no one else has. I figured it was just a dark web gimmick, a facade created to lure unsuspecting souls. But then, the screen flickered, and a message appeared. Your request has been received. Please provide a delivery address. My heart pounded. I never intended to actually receive anything from the dark web. I had only wanted to test the waters. My mind raced as I contemplated my next move. In a moment of impulse, I typed in my home address and hit enter. I immediately regretted my decision, but it was too late. The screen displayed a chilling confirmation message. Delivery en route. Panic set in as I considered the consequences of my actions. I had no idea what I had just ordered or who I had invited into my life. The minutes felt like hours as I waited, frozen in fear. Then a knock echoed through the stillness of my apartment. My heart lurched as I approached the door, hesitating before turning the handle. Outside, on my doorstep, was a small, unmarked package. I brought it inside, my hands trembling as I carefully unwrapped it. Inside was a plain black box. My curiosity battled with my fear, and curiosity won out as I opened it. The box contained a single, old-fashioned key. There was no explanation, no note, just the key. I inspected it closely, noticing intricate engravings and a strange symbol on its handle. Suddenly the lights in my apartment flickered and dimmed, casting long, eerie shadows. A feeling of dread washed over me as I realized I was no longer alone. From the dark corners of the room, shadowy figures emerged, their eyes gleaming with malevolence. I clutched the key, feeling it pulse with an unnatural energy. The figures closed in, whispering in a language I couldn't understand. Panic consumed me as I realized I had unleashed something beyond my control, something from the darkest depths of the web. In a desperate attempt to escape, I inserted the key into the nearest door. With a deafening creak, it swung open, revealing a pitch-black void. Without thinking, I stepped through, hoping to evade the nightmarish entities that pursued me. But what I found on the other side was far worse. 
I was trapped in a nightmarish realm, a place of torment and suffering. The very air seemed to writhe with despair, and I could hear the anguished cries of those who had been here before me. I knew then that I had made a grave mistake, and there was no escape from the horrors I had unleashed. My curiosity had led me to the brink of madness, and now I was condemned to wander the dark web's twisted, nightmarish landscape for eternity. As I write this, I can feel the malevolent presence closing in on me once more. The darkness surrounds me, and the echoes of despair are my only companions. My only hope is that this warning reaches someone who might be tempted by the dark web's forbidden allure. Stay away, for it holds terrors beyond imagination, and once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. Story 3. Dark Web's Descent The dark web had always held a morbid fascination for me, an enigmatic abyss of forbidden knowledge and lurking horrors. I had heard the whispered tales of its mysteries and dangers, but my curiosity was insatiable. On one fateful stormy night, my urge to explore the hidden corners of the internet got the better of me. The rain lashed against the window pane, driven by a relentless wind that howled like a banshee outside. Thunder rumbled through the heavens, casting eerie shadows that danced across my room. The flickering candlelight was my only source of illumination. As I sat before the computer, the dark web browser open, beckoning me. The very atmosphere seemed to shudder with trepidation as I ventured further into the digital abyss. I navigated through cryptic websites, dodging illegal marketplaces and disturbing forums. But the stories of the truly sinister parts of the dark web were what had brought me here, and I was determined to uncover them. Hours passed, and the clock ticked ominously toward midnight. I had encountered nothing that lived up to the legends when I stumbled upon a peculiar link buried deep within a discussion forum. It had no flashy graphics or sensationalist titles, just a simple, unassuming URL, the Whispering Void. Intrigued and hesitant in equal measure, I clicked on the link. It took me to a page with a stark black background and a single text box. The words above it sent a chill down my spine. Ask a question and the void will answer. My heart pounded as I considered the possibilities. Could this be some sort of digital oracle? A conduit to the unknown? I couldn't resist the temptation and typed, what is the darkest secret of the dark web? Rain drummed relentlessly on the roof as I pressed enter. Seconds stretched into an eternity, and then the screen flickered to life with a haunting whisper, almost drowned out by the storm outside. The darkest secret is the one you're about to uncover. I shivered, my breath catching in my throat. The message was cryptic, unsettling. I was about to exit the site when the whispering void offered another response. Would you like to know more? Compelled by equal parts, curiosity and dread, I typed, yes. The screen displayed an image of a shadowy door surrounded by symbols I couldn't comprehend. A text box prompted me for a location and in a moment of recklessness, I entered my home address. The image of the door vanished and the page simply said, delivery en route, panic gripped me. I never expected to receive anything. The seconds turned to minutes and I began to regret my impulsive decision. Just as I was about to shut down the computer, a knock at my door echoed through the apartment. My heart pounded like a drum, each beat matching the rhythm of the rain outside. I approached the door with trepidation and the dread only grew as I opened it. There, on my doorstep, sat a weathered wooden box. Its surface was etched with intricate patterns and symbols, the kind that sent a chill down your spine when you gazed upon them. I hesitated, but my curiosity overcame my fear and I brought the box inside. As I opened it, 
An otherworldly coldness washed over me. Nestled inside was an ancient leather-bound tome. The pages were filled with inscrutable text and eerie illustrations. The title on the cover read, The Chronicles of the Abyss. My hands trembled as I thumbed through the pages, realizing that this was no ordinary book. It was a portal into the darkest recesses of the dark web, a sinister record of its malevolent secrets. The more I read, the deeper I descended into a maddening labyrinth of horrors and forbidden knowledge. The storm outside intensified, and the room seemed to darken as if the very shadows were closing in on me. I could hear whispered voices, a chorus of malevolent murmurs that echoed through the pages of the tome. It was as if the dark web itself had come to life, its secrets unleashed upon me. Terrified and overwhelmed, I slammed the book shut and tried to push it away, but it clung to my hands like a malevolent force. The room became a whirlwind of chaos, the rain pounding against the window panes in a frenzied symphony of despair. Suddenly, the lights flickered and died, plunging me into pitch darkness. I was no longer alone. I could feel their presence, the whispers and shadows that had haunted my journey into the dark web. They surrounded me, closing in from all sides, their voices a cacophony of torment. I screamed, but my voice was lost in the void. The storm outside raged on, a symphony of chaos and despair that mirrored the nightmare unfolding within. I was trapped, a prisoner of my own curiosity, condemned to wander the abyss of the dark web for all eternity. As I write this, the whispers still echo in my mind, and the shadows continue to dance in the corners of my vision. The stormy night on the dark web had become a never-ending nightmare, a chilling reminder that some secrets are best left undiscovered.